Since the 1st of September, Ubuntu virtual machines with Ampere Ultra ARM-based processors are generally available on Azure. This new generation of VMs are ideal for compute-intensive workloads, such as artificial intelligence and high-performance computing. ARM is a different architecture, so software specifically designed to run on ARM is required. Ubuntu in particular is bringing close to 95% of its package to this new architecture. Additionally, the open source community has the advantage of being able to access the source code and compile it to run on a different architecture, rather than relying on a third-party vendor to release a different version. Virtual machines using ARM-based processors have many advantages. Among them, increased performance, increased efficiency, and even potential cost savings. Now, let's see how to launch this kind of VMs on Azure. We go to a portal as usual, query resource. Here you see some popular images. We could go with this, but just in case you don't find the specific one you're looking for, you go to see more in marketplace. And here it's a good idea to search for canonical just to easily find the listings. You will see all the official Ubuntu images this way. We will go for an Ubuntu Server 2204. Create. Here you will need to, to give some information like the VM name, the region. This uh, kind of architecture is not yet available on all regions, so it's a good idea to Select one of the popular ones, let's go for is US. And you see that now there is a question regarding the architecture. X64 is the one selected by default, but this image allows you to also select ARM. This is not going to be available on all images, it is for Ubuntu. When I did the change on architecture, you so that this message showed up because the size, the hardware pre-selected is not available for that architecture. So you need to select a new one. Uh, you will see some suggestions here and actually you start to see the, the potential savings that this can bring you. We can go with this one and you finish to select the, the usual form prompts. I will just use an, an existing key. And that's basically it. As always, there is an intermediate step to, to review and make sure that everything is in order and create. After some seconds, you end up here on the confirmation page, seeing that your deployment was complete. From here, you can go to a resource and use it as usual. This Ubuntu Optimize for ARM architecture VM is able to take full advantage of its performance and efficiency. 